where are you from? Um, originally Durham, North Carolina. But I mainly grew up in Florida. So, yeah. What was your first break? Um, I, let's see, the, my first break, um, I got a gig dancing for the MTV Movie Awards. Yeah, in, um, God, I forgot what year it was. I forgot the year, but, yeah. What have you been in? Um, a lot of TV. <laughs> a lot of TV. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? Uh, how do I feel about it? I, I guess I would have, I would say I have a, a, a love-hate relationship with it. Um, there's a lot of perks, but, uh, it can be incredibly frustrating at times as well. How did you decide to become an actor? Um, <laughs> When I realized that a dance career wasn't going to happen, this uh, seemed to be the next best thing, and, and it was. I kind of just fell into acting, though, and was really fortunate to just come across um, some really great people at the right time. How would you describe your specialty or type? My specialty or type? Uh, well, I'm told I, I have a very uh, sort of inner strength about me, and I, I do get cast for, for those kind of um, parts, and, and I enjoy playing those kind of parts. Um, but I, I do my best not to be a type. I try to play a, a 180 of a character that I, you know, played of the last character, so I don't know if I'm going off, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite actor who you look up to? Oh, God. Um, you know, my ultimate would have to be um, Betty Davis. She just, she, she really just sort of set the bar really high, but she's, yeah, she's incredible. What would your ideal job be? My ideal job? Uh, well, actually, funny enough, um, my goal from the beginning of my career, actually, has just been to um, have a, a great part in an ensemble of a, of a cable series, in an ensemble cast. Um, there's so many great um, stories being told on, on, on television, but particularly cable, and, and I just, I love working in, a, in an en ensemble setting, and it's, it's more fun to me. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, and sometimes I have to remind myself that. Um, but yeah, I do. What advantages do you have? What advantages do I have? Um, I have a lot of... Uh, I had, growing up, a lot of support um, from my family. And, um, and I think that sort of carried uh, with me. And, and I had a lot of uh, great, not only support, but I also, you know, my, my parents, I think they did a good job. I'm, I'm independent. I like it that way. I've been that way for a very long time. And, and I think you can make a lot happen when, when you know you're, you're capable of doing it. And so... Yeah, I think I think that's what I have going for me is that is is my independence and wanting to keep that way. What did you do before acting? Um, what did I do before acting? I oh, dance, dancing. That's yeah. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? 
a car for sure. I I I don't need a diploma, so <laughs> with what I do. <clears throat> How do you feel about globalization? <clears throat> well, um <laughs> Globalization is basically the kittens and rainbows word for um, protecting corporate interests and and um, and kind of stomping on everyone else. So I'm 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 not into it. You know, globalism's different. You know, that's that's John Lennon. That's Imagine. That's you know, but uh, globalization. Um, and, and with that said, too, I am really concerned about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, please don't let that happen. Please, please, government, please. So. <clears throat> Would you rather live the American way or be a socialist? Um, I guess it depends on what era you're talking about when it comes to the American way. I don't think the American way is working now. Um, and at the same time, I don't think there's one structure that can work for everyone because humans are complex and the human race is complex. You can't have just one thing. And if, if we learned anything from history, we should learn that, that one type of government or one form of, um, or one sort of structured way of govern, governing a group of people is is not going to work um but as far as the american way um there used to be a time where if you worked hard you could you could advance and and people are still working their asses off but they're not getting that they're not getting what they're due um as a whole and so if that's the american way it ain't working. What do you think about the amount of stuff people buy? It's kind of silly. Uh, and Americans are probably like one of the worst uh, at, uh, at just just over consuming or, or taking what we don't need. Um, yeah. What does the future look like to you? You know, I'm I'm just doing my best to take things one step at a time, one day at a time. Yeah. How do you feel about having children? Well, uh, I just I just had a child, two and a half months, a baby, not a child, but um, two and a half. <laughs> that would be impressive. Um, two and a half months ago, and uh, I absolutely love it, and I. And I love kids, I, I know. And, um, yeah, but uh, it's, it's one of the m most incredible experiences I've, I've had so far in my life. And, um, and all the cliches are true. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me what conflicts or challenges the world is facing today? Mm. Um, I, I would say the biggest conflict and challenge, if, although I, maybe it's sort of, um, what's the word, uh, I can't think of the word right now, uh, but I think what it all boils down to is greed. I think as a whole, that's our biggest, the, our conflict and I mean if you just sort of narrow everything down all these problems that we do have it, it seems to boil down to greed so. what's your favorite way to communicate face to face what do you think of the creative scene in Los Angeles I think it's great um, I think there's just a plethora of opportunities, whether you want to create it for yourself, or you want to find it, or you want to attach yourself to something. Um, I love it here. I love Los Angeles. What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Book, film, and music. Um, God, 
Well, <laughs> I mean, the last the last book I read was hypnobirthing, and it came in handy. It definitely came in handy. Um, <laughs> and um, as far as films, um, I'd have to say my favorite film that I've seen in the last ten years would be um, *Beasts of the Southern Wild*. I just am so inspired by that film. Um, and uh, music, I'm kind of, I don't know, I've, well, I've recently discovered, uh, well not recently, my, my, my baby loves Blackbird by the Beatles. It's what gets her quiet, it's what makes her laugh, she, she loves that, so I love that song right now. And um, I kind of go through this... Um, annual Led Zeppelin phase where I can't stop listening to them like they're like on on repeat like all all of their albums um, so I'm, I'm sort of in that phase right now the Led Zeppelin the annual Led Zeppelin phase that I go through and um, and then uh, this this uh, artist Banks I'm really into her um, and uh, this guy Bernhoff, he's just, he's fun. I don't know if you've ever heard, but he's got this like, I don't know, he's this, it's this sort of like R&B vibe, just fun and light and you wanna dance to it. Crazy great voice, crazy good. <laughs> 